like center fire or precision rifle and I'm doing hand loads, I'm like really, you know, you're doing seating depths, every little grain of powder counts, and you find that, that harmonic sweet spot. Um, do you find that with a 22 precision rifle, like between different lots of, you know, say center X or whatever? Uh, I believe that uh, there is a lot of good ammunition on the market, for sure. And it seems as if each different barrel likes certain ammunition better than others. And it's, it's, there's no like set in stone, hard, fast rules that you can apply. You literally have to buy a variety of things and go out and do some testing with your specific rifle to figure out what is it like the most. Um, a lot of it's done by shooting groups. A lot of it's done by using a chronograph. Uh, and once you find the ammunition that your barrel shoots better than, and we're talking, you know, minuscule variants here, but you find something that shoots really good out of your gun, at that point you can start doing uh, more to increase your, your, your accuracy potential. You don't have the ability to load like you do in center fire, but people are doing all kinds of things like weighing the cartridges and measuring the rim thickness and just taking as many variables out of the equation as they possibly can just to make sure that they've got consistency in you know, every, every facet that they, they can control. <laughs> so so people, people are measuring each round and, and getting thicknesses of cases and yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there's actually tools you can buy. You can go on, I think, like Brownells or Midway, and there is a case rim tool huh. to specifically measure how thick the, the rims are. Um, one of the things that's interesting about 22 ammunition is, for instance, I, I pulled apart um, uh, some very popular rimfire ammunition, match ammunition, the other day, and was weighing the powder charge. Uh, it all came out to about one grain. We're talking like 1.06 grains. That's a tiny amount of powder. It doesn't even remotely come close to filling the, the, the brass at all. Which leads me to believe that you know, 40 to maybe 50% of uh, the velocity, the, the gases created in a 22 cartridge are actually ca uh, created by the primer compound. Huh. So I don't have any hard, fast data to back that up, but I, it was interesting to me that so little powder was actually in the case. 